Nice bounce pass. Play! Randy Freeman! And now Benton's going to bring it across for the fellow grids. Benton shaking and baking. He's got that jumper and he hits that jumper. Pressing and gets it blocked. And that ball deflected. Beautiful pass by Barrientos to Sim. Thoroughbreds once again push. Underneath pass to Malik Nome for the lead. And he's pushing the pace. He's got Janad Hill in the corner. Janad Hill is going to hit a three for DLC. Now to the basket. Erased. That underneath the Sean Bryant. Back out pick. Palm three. He hit it. Oh, look at that. Three on two, four on two, third wrist. Look at that. And Cook gets caught sleeping. Here's Benton. Basket. Got it. Janad Hill to the basket. Floater. Got it. Third wrist pushing. Barrientos is going to rise. Fire. Hit. Spin move. Beautifully done. Gets it to go. Hoop in the horn. Here's Wall Yak with a steal. Three on nobody. It's a Yak attack. Keyshawn Bryant in the post against Magenta. This is a mismatch. Keyshawn Bryant finishes. Steal by Wall Yak. Nice pass. Under 10 minutes to go. Then he got it. Wall Yak. Bryant. Fire. Three for the OC. Brantos. Jumps. Fires. Hits it. No good. Wall Yak gets the offensive board. Sharpshooter, 4 3. You know it. Barrientos. Now, Wall Yak for 3. You know it. You know it. That is that. And we've got a winner in Apex. This one belongs to the third red. Nice bounce pass. KB11. Nice bounce pass. Nice bounce pass. Play! Randy Freeman. And now Benton's going to bring it across for the fellow grids. Benton shaking and baking. He's got that jumper and he hits that jumper. Here comes Brooks pressing and gets it blocked. Right in that ball deflected. Beautiful pass by Barrientos to Sim. Thoroughbreds once again push it. Underneath pass to Malik Nome for the lead. And he's pushing the pace. He's got Janad Hill in the corner. Janad Hill is going to hit a three for DLC. Now to the basket. Erased. That underneath the piece on Bryant. Back out pick. Palm three. He hit it. Oh, look at that. Three on two, four on two, third wrist. Look at that! And Cook gets caught sleeping. Here's Benton. Basket. Got it! Janad Hill to the basket. Floater. Got it! Thoroughbreds pushing. Barrientos is going to rise. Fire. Hit! Spin move. Beautifully done. Gets it to go. Hoop in the horn. Here's Wall Yak with a steal. Three on nobody. It's a Yak attack! Keyshawn Bryant in the post against Magenta. This is a mismatch. Keyshawn Bryant finishes. Steal by Wall Yak. Nice pass. Under 10 minutes to go. Then he got it. Wall Yak. Bryant. Fire. Three for the OC. Brantos. Jumps. Fires. Hits it. No good. Wall Yak gets the offensive board. Sharpshooter, 4 3. You know it. Barrientos. Now, Wall Yak for 3. You know it. You know it. That is that. And we've got a winner in Apex. This one belongs to the third red. Basketball fans, it is time to introduce our Blue Lights Thoroughbreds. A 5'10 guard from Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, number three, Sam Benton Jr. 
a 5'8 guard from Traverse City, Michigan, number four, Miguan Spirientos. A 5'8 guard from Fairmont, North Carolina, number five, Jadad Hill. A 6'4 guard from Raleigh, North Carolina, number 10, Malik Nong. A 6'5 forward from Rocky Mount, North Carolina, Number 11, Key Sean Bryant. A 6'5 forward from Raleigh, North Carolina. Number 12, Randy Freeman. A 6'6 six, six forward from Fuquay, Verena, North Carolina. Number 15, Gold Yeah. College basketball is on the air. Welcome to Apex, North Carolina, the peak of good living. This is the opening round of the New South Athletic Conference Tournament. We're going to shoot it to our PA announcer, Mr. Jamie McDonald, for the National Anthem. to our public address announcer, Mr. Jamie McDonald.
Live from Apex, North Carolina, the peak of good living. This is the opening round of the New South Athletic Conference Tournament. Our thoroughbreds take on the Centurions of Carolina Christian College. My name is Craig Green coming to you live from Hope Community Church Arena in the Pex. It's win or go home with a spot in the semifinals at stake. The winner of tonight's game will face the top seeded Apprentice Builders this Saturday in the semifinals at four o'clock from the Apprentice Athletic Center in Newport News, Virginia. Both teams are ready for action. Eli Gibbs and Keyshawn Bryant will jump it up. The ball went up, but we weren't ready, but now we are. Got to put one second back on the clock. Started the clock, but the referee said we have to do a do-over. So here we go. We're back at 20. Ball goes up, and it's basketball time in Apex. New South Athletic Conference Tournament starts right now. Sam Benton Jr. against A.J. Baldwin. Now Bryant down low working. Puts it up. No good. Murdoch is wearing number 10 tonight. A.J. Baldwin wearing number four. Centurions entered this game three and 14 on the season. Zero and seven in the NSAC. That doesn't matter, this is a one game scenario. That three in and out. Thoroughbreds get the rebound and here comes Sam Benton Jr. All NSAC second team. And a steal right away. Here comes Hampton. Hampton gets the bucket and the bruises. So the Centurions draw first blood. Keyshawn Bryant called for the foul. Brandon Hampton will go to the line to try to finish the three-point play. Early 3-0 lead for the visitors from Winston-Salem. Sam Benton wants to answer, but he can't. Rebound goes to Hampton. Centurions coached by William P.A. This is his second season at the helm for CCC. Added a few new players during the Christmas break. It's a long three from the corner, no good. And Hampton walks right in, excuse me, and Antonio Baldwin walks right in. Correction, Murdoch is wearing 10 tonight. He gets the offensive board and puts the Centurions up 5 nothing. Yak puts it up and gets the thoroughbreds on the board. Again, the winner of this game tonight plays the Apprentice Builders Saturday in a, at Apprentice. That three is no good. Thoroughbreds push it. Barrientos, three, air ball. But Wojak gets the offensive board, working down low. Can't get it, gets another offensive board, puts it back home. Here's Fabian for, Centur for the Centurions. Ball went in the corner for three. In and out, rebound tipped by a Centurion. It's going to belong to the Thoroughbreds. So just two and a half minutes in. Thank you for joining us wherever you may be. Well, Yak, working down low, was fouled. That foul is going to go against Brandon Hampton. That's his first. <laughs> 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 
Marientos had a hard time getting it in. Centurions are playing defense and a foul as Bulyak was going up for the shot. And it looks like Hampton will be called for that foul as well. So Bulyak will go to the line for two. Trying to put the thoroughbreds in front. Michael Jordan is going to enter the game for Brandon Hampton, who has two fouls already. Yak gives the thoroughbreds the lead. Full court press by the thoroughbreds early on. Centurions break the press. That scoop by Fabian is no good. But Murdoch got the offensive board. It's stolen away. Here come the thoroughbreds. Thoroughbreds pushing. He wants Mariantos wide open. Three for BLC. Going to need every single one of those they can get tonight. Thoroughbreds are going to have to protect the basketball and stay out of foul trouble. They're playing zone here. There's a three that's no good from the corner by Michael Jordan. Keyshawn Bryant pushing. Miguel's Barrientos wide open again. This one a little too short. So there's Hampton. Hampton offensive foul. Murdoch, pardon. So that's the first foul on Murdoch. Robert Murdoch again wearing number 10 tonight. Coach P.A. explained that uh, Robert's mom had a number 10 jersey from him last season. He's wearing it here tonight in honor of her son. So he and A.J. Baldwin decided to switch for tonight's game. There's a three from the corner that's no good. Malik Nam gets the rebound. Thoroughbreds with a four-point lead early on. Malik Nam to the basket. And... A blocking foul has been called. Michael Jordan called for the foul. It's his first foul. Pass down low. Marianos in the post. Looking for a little help. Keyshawn Bryant pops out. Bryant for three. Too strong. Thoroughbreds chase down the rebound with Barrientos. Nice pass to Keyshawn Bryant. Couldn't handle it first. Poked away from behind, but Benton. And no good. And a foul as Bryant hits the deck. Look like he was pushed in midair trying to get that rebound. More substitutions at the table for the Centurions. So Kyrie Groggins is back in the game. Thoroughbreds will inbound under their basket. Wojak from the corner. 4-3 for BLC. Thoroughbreds with an early seven-point lead. It's a critical game. Have to win tonight. There is no tomorrow. It's a three from the corner that's no good by Cam Hampton. Thoroughbreds with the rebound. Wojak got it. In stroke. Fires no good. But Keyshawn, rebound, uh, Keyshawn Bryant skies for the rebound. No foul call on the contact there. And Baldwin has the ball after getting it from Murdoch. Long three by Baldwin. That's an air ball. Timeout by the Thoroughbreds. We will take that timeout with them. 14-23 to go in the first half. Thoroughbreds 12. Centurions 5 in the Thoroughbreds Sport Network. Welcome.
Look at this EC! Step right this way to my incredible all you can gobble buffet! A wondrous world of extraordinary creations like mac and cheese pizza and a cinnamon roll station! Oh. Pasta and salad dessert! Oh my lordy! Games for the kiddos oh. and dudes in their 40s! There's plenty to go around, no need for sharing! Everyone's happy, even this Karen! What will we do next? You can bet it's stupendous! Bring your stretchy pants to CC so the pizza abilities are endless! Back from the timeout, 12-5 thoroughbreds. Biguans Barrientos will inbound underneath his basket. Centurions pressing. Thoroughbreds break the press. Malik Nong jumps, rise, fires, no good. Long pass down court. Centurions were cherry picking and converts a nice layup. Lots of contact, but no call. Thoroughbreds break the press once again. Centurions in a man-to-man -man defense. Boyak had it stripped from behind. And there is a layup right there converted by Hampton. Excuse me. Uh, Antonio Baldwin, my bad. Another turnover by the Thoroughbreds. Two straight. Apologize for getting Murdoch and Baldwin confused. Instantly see four and think it's Robert Murdoch. So apologize to the Murdoch and the Baldwin family. There's Baldwin to the basket. That's no good. Rebound chased down by Groggins and Barrientos. Ball tipped out of bounds. It's going to belong to the Thoroughbreds. 13-13 to go in the first half. Thoroughbreds up by three. Here's Sam Benton Jr. from Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Another steal by the Centurions, and Benton will foul Baldwin to stop the fast break. So Groggins will inbounds from near midcourt. Jordan thought about the three, passed it up. Baldwin back to Jordan. Jordan for three, no good. Murdoch with the offensive board. He's all NSAC second team player. Jordan was fouled underneath in the act of shooting. Malik Nong with the hack on Jordan. Three fouls on the thoroughbreds. And Jordan at the line for two. Michael Jordan from Winston-Salem Prep. 6-1 freshman guard. So that free throw will bring the, thorough, uh, the Thoroughbreds lead down to two. And another turnover by the Thoroughbreds. Centurions are anticipating each pass and jumping in front, deflecting balls off of the herd. Thoroughbreds cannot afford to turn a ball over tonight. Murdoch down low, got his shot blocked by Keyshawn Bryant. Here's Benton, little crossover, rises, fires, and gets the shooter's roll. We're just about eight minutes into the first half, Thoroughbreds still have the lead, 14-10. There's a three from the elbow by A.J. Baldwin. Woyak rises, fires, answers with a three for BLC. 
Anything you can do, I can do better. Drive to the basket by Murdoch. Nice ball movement by the Centurions to avoid the press. Hampton was cut off from the basket, had nowhere to go. Step back three by Murdoch off the glass is good. Bank closes at six here at Apex. Barrientos, drive to the basket, floater no good. Thoroughbreds get the offensive board with Keyshawn Bryant. Nice ball movement, Boyack, baseline, takes it, no good. And Centurions with the rebound, they're gonna try to push. And a steal, here comes Malik Nong. Nong, nice pass to Benton. Benton decides to take that shot, got it! And looks like possibly a foul should have been called, but Sam is shaken up. Look, he may have got stepped on when he was taking that shot. Sam's going to walk it off. Looks like he's going to be okay. Here comes team doctor, Dr. Jocelyn Wittenstein to take a look at Thoroughbreds point guard, Sam Benton. So Janad Hill will enter the game for the Thoroughbreds with Benton temporarily out of action. Thoroughbreds are down to six players. Randy Freeman is unavailable this evening. Victor Nong has a season ending hand injury is unavailable for the tournament. That three is no good by Groggins. Fight for the rebound belongs to BLC. That's a Duke Sports Medicine injury report, the official healthcare provider of the Thoroughbreds. Ball kicked out of bounds by Groggins. It's gonna stay with BLC, 27 on the shot clock. Had a whistle. Shot clock should be reset to 20. It's at 14 currently. Getting that adjustment done. So we're ready for action. 20 on the shot clock for the Thoroughbreds. Mariantos inbounding. Finds Malik Nong. There's Janad Hill, first action. Nice pass to Malik Nong, avoids the defender. Malik Nong converts the assist by Janad Hill. Shifty is going to have to play some big, big minutes tonight, especially now with Benton shaken up. There's ball, which three no good, rebounded by Murdoch. Thoroughbreds with a six point lead, 9.20 to go in the first half. Fabian gives it up to Hampton, now back to Fabian. Cam Hampton, excuse me, that was Cam Barber. Rebound to Janad Hill. He's trying to push the pace. Shifty, off the glass, no good. Rebound, Keyshawn Bryant, second time, no good. And rebound goes to the Centurions. Nice defense by the Thoroughbreds and Barrientos and Nong to get the ball back. Keyshawn Bryant out at the wing. He's going to take a long two. That's going to roll in and out. 
It's been a low scoring first half. Not a lot of offense so far. It's been some chances in transition. Neither team really been able to take advantage yet. There's a three that's no good. Actually, it is good. Don't have a 15 on my sheet. I believe that was Cam Barber. Wolyak fouled in the act of shooting. He will go back to the line. Foul on Lee Brown. So that's who it is. It is Lee Brown wearing number 15. Instead of his traditional number two. First free throw is good by Woyak. But he goes one for two on this trip. Third red still up by two possessions. There's a tough take to, to the basket by Robert Murdoch. And a timeout called by William P.A. and Carolina Christian. So quick look at the out-of-town scoreboard, focusing on other NSAC tournament games. The other first-round matchup is a three-seed Virginia Peninsula hosting Christendom. The winner of that game will play Mackey in the second semifinal this Saturday at 6 p.m. on BigSports.tv. We will update the score for you at halftime. That game started, is actually starting right now. For new scores, podcasts, and more, please visit NewSouthConference.com. So 23-21 thoroughbreds, seven minutes and 50 seconds to go here in the first half. Sam Benton is back in the game for the thoroughbreds. So he got his ankle taped up. Thought about a three and passed it up. One-on-one -on -one against Fabian. 15 on the shot clock, there's a steal. That outlet pass is gonna trickle out of bounds too far for Baldwin. And Thoroughbreds will get it back. Seven and a half to go before halftime. Wolyak against Lee Brown. Wolyak rises, fires. No good. Rebound to Murdoch. All in sack, second team. Hill contact and the foul called. I think Shifty thought he had the ball there. But Murdoch got the call and he will go to the line for two to try to tie this game. Murdoch from Laurenburg, North Carolina. Ties the game at 23. We're right back where we started. Centurion still pressing. Thorbreds handle the press well. Barrientos going to take the three that they give him, but can't convert. And now Centurion's coming back across. Take to the basket, no good. Wolyak with the rebound for the Thoroughbreds. Barrientos gonna take it and make it. Thoroughbreds back in the lead, just like that. And poked away by Benton, but can't chase it down. I think the, uh, the ankle may be affecting him. We will see. Good defense by Janad Hill. Three from the corner by Baldwin is no good. Keyshawn Bryant pushing. Barrientos. Scoop layup is good up and under. Miguans Barrientos. 
nicely done. Need him to be a big, big contributor tonight. He's an offensive powder cake waiting to explode. That scoop to the basket by Murdoch is no good. Contact, no call. And a foul to stop the fast break. So Eli Fabian is committed to foul on Wojak. Wojak at the line. See if he can increase the thoroughbreds lead. Discussion at the store's table, what uh, should be and what should not be. So while we're waiting for that, just need to make a couple of corrections. Virginia Peninsula and Christendom, their game is not tonight. It will be on Thursday night, 7 p.m. And Saturday's games, I need to make a correction of that as well. Previously announced that we're going to be on BigSports.TV. They will actually be on the Apprentice Builders stream on YouTube. Should be under Builders stream. If you type that in on the YouTube search, you should be able to find it really easily or just search Apprentice Builders. So the first free throw by Yak is good. Does it count? Does it not count? Coach PA getting an explanation from the referees. Trying to understand what the call was and trying to get some things corrected at the table here. So again, apologize for the for the mistake, but Saturday's games will be on the Apprentice Builders YouTube channel, not on Big Sports TV. Sunday's conference finals, men's and women's, will be on Big Sports TV. And again, Virginia Peninsula, Christendom, will not take place until Thursday. So tonight is the only tournament game happening this week. Excuse me, this evening. Jordan to the basket, no look pass. Gibbs couldn't handle it. Janot Hill down on the floor, scrapping with Groggins. Jump ball called. It's gonna to belong to the Centurions on the alternating possession. Twenty-one on the shot clock for Carolina Christian. And Barrientos gets his hand on that one. Can he chase it down? No. Nearly a steal, but that will result in a reset shot clock. They're going to bring it down to 20. So Centurions will have to inbound underneath their own basket. Here comes Baldwin. Baldwin, quick step to the basket. No good. Jordan with the rebound. No good. Malik Nong comes down with it for the thoroughbreds. Benton, nice pass to Barrientos. Thoroughbreds working the ball around. Janad Hill, three ball, no good. Off the back of the rim and a foul will be called. Barrientos battling down low, trying to steal the ball away, but instead had too much contact. And will be called for the foul. Thoroughbred still up by six. So Robert Murdoch will re-enter. Kim Hampton will re-enter. Roggins will sit. So here's Murdoch again wearing number 10 tonight. His scoop to the basket is no good, and Keyshawn Bryant gets the rebound and is going to push. 
Nice pass to Sam Benton. Whoa, yeah, rises, fires, no good. In and out. Centurions avoided a big, big impactful basket there, but Wool Yang steals that one and gives it right back, trying to find Malik Nall. Jordan, spin move, got it. Now here comes Ben. Spin move himself, takes it. No good, contact no good, no foul, but Wool Yak puts it back home. They're going up and down the court here. 3.50 to go before halftime. Here's Murdoch. Murdoch against Mulgak. Second team versus first team. And Barrientos gets the rebound. Murdoch is called for a technical foul. Said the magic word. And Hocus Pocus, it's going to be two free throws for the Thoroughbreds. <laughs> Referee's given an explanation to Coach P.A. and the Centurions why the technical foul was called. What did he say to warrant it? Thoroughbred's lead increases to eight on the free baskets. Three points given to them. Thanks to the technical. And now Thoroughbred's will still have the ball. With a chance to put this lead up to ten. Ben, rise, fire, no good. The ball tipped. Thoroughbred's will maintain possession. Malik Nong down low to Keyshawn Bryant. Bryant being double teamed. Saves the possession for the Thoroughbreds. Ben, three ball, no good. Barrientos chases down an offensive board. Thoroughbreds are hustling. Bryant, down low, floater. Too strong. And a foul on Bryant trying to contest with Eli Gibbs. So 16 fouls on the thoroughbreds. The next one will put Carolina Christian in the bonus. 2.55 to go here in the first half. Biggest crowd we've had here at Hope Community Church Arena in a couple of months. Gibbs in the corner for three, no good. Fight for the rebound belongs to Murdoch. Murdoch will put it back home. Thoroughbreds still with the lead. Barrientos. Little soft floater puts it back. Every time the Centurions get a bucket, the Thoroughbreds answer. They trapped Baldwin. Here's Jordan. Little scoop. He trapped. Two twenty to go here before halftime. Nice pass underneath. Here comes Malik. No! Tried to hammer it. Couldn't do it, but Keyshawn Bryant puts it back, and the Thoroughbreds are up by 10. Malik tried to turn the lights out here at the Hope Community Church Arena. And there's Baldwin with a scoop to the basket. A.J. Baldwin. Team's going back and forth. Keyshawn Bryant. Can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound. Wasn't called out of bounds. He established position. Scramble on the floor, and it's a steal by the Centurions. Will there be a foul? What's the call? Call is a jump ball. So Thoroughbreds will get the ball 23 on the shot clock. Centurions are not happy with the referees early on. That ball was knocked out of bounds. A turnover by the Thoroughbreds. Benton couldn't handle it. Jordan was impacting that play in the corner. A minute and 40 to go. Thoroughbreds by eight. 
win or go home tonight. Baldwin's layup was no good. Barrientos back the other way, puts it back home for the Thoroughbreds. Now their lead is up to 10 with a minute 20 to go before halftime. High energy, high intensity here in the gym tonight. That shot blocked from behind, out of bounds. Murdoch thought he got fouled. Referee said clean block. He's gonna have to watch himself the rest of the game. He already has a technical. So 10 on the on the shot clock for the Centurions. AJ Baldwin now against Keyshawn Bryant. One minute to go. Five on the shot clock. Three and two. Baldwin is fouled right at the death of the shot clock. So Barrientos will be called for his second foul. 53 seconds to go here in the half. A.J. Baldwin at the line for two. He misses the first. Groggins and Lee Brown re-enter for the Centurions. Gibbs and Jordan will sit. So second free throw good by A.J. Baldwin. We're under 45 seconds to go. Benton, shake it, bake it, make it. Thoroughbreds by 11, 40 seconds to go in the half. Brown finds Hampton for three. Too strong, but the offensive rebound is there. Groggins gets his shot blocked by Keyshawn Bryant. Here come the Thoroughbreds. Benton. Shake it, bake it, make it again! Double dip for Sam Benton Jr. 15 seconds to go in the half, thoroughbreds by 13. Groggins against, against Benton, rises, fires, hits. Seven seconds to go. Here's Benton with five, four, Benton, three, no good. Keyshawn Bryant gets the rebound, no, there's fired up by Benton, no good at the buzzer. And that'll bring us to halftime. Good first half for the Thoroughbreds. Started off slow offensively, but started to find their stride, knocking down some free throws, forcing some turnovers. A couple threes are falling. Now both teams will go to the locker room. Take a breath. Maybe discuss a little bit of adjustments. So while that happens, we will take a halftime break. Come back here shortly. Halftime score. Thoroughbreds 43, Carolina Christian 32. This is the New South Athletic Conference Tournament. Round one, live from Hope Community Church Arena in the Pex. See you after halftime on the Thoroughbreds Sports Network. It's not a pizza, it's a milk. And for $6.99, it's just for you. Why do I invest so much in this place? Why do I look for answers where there might be none? Why am I inspired to educate the next brilliant minds in healthcare? Yeah, so that's a great question. At Duke Health, patients experience the unifying power of all of us. Because what we do every day is important but why we do it is everything. I'm Dr. Susanna Nagy, and you're why.
Just got about a minute left until halftime expires. Let's take a look at first half stats. Leading scores for each team. Carolina Christian led by Robert Murdoch with 11 points. A.J. Baldwin with eight. Michael Jordan with five. For BLC, Wolyak, 17 points in the first half. Sam Benton Jr. and Miguel's Barrientos each had 11 points. And other news announced today, Apprentice's Evan Key, head coach, was named New South Athletic Conference Coach of the Year. It's his fifth year at the helm, led the Builders to an 11-0 perfect season in the NSAC. Also, the all-conference team was named as well. All NSAC first team, as you saw uh, before the game started, Commissioner Mike Davis presenting all-conference awards to Wolyak for first team, Keyshawn Bryant, Sam Benton Jr., and Robert Murdoch, second team, all NSAC. To fill out the teams, just for clarity, all NSAC first team, Sean Ely of Apprentice, Wolyak from BLC, Talik Tot from Mid-Atlantic Christian, Javion Majette, last year's 2022 MVP, and Jean-Paul Vanderwald from Christendom. All NSAC second team, Kyrie Smith from Apprentice, Benton, Bryant, Murdoch, Noah Richardson, and Keyshawn Johnson from Mid-Atlantic Christian and Virginia Peninsula, respectively. So 20 minutes on the clock, let's get this party started. Who will take the trip to Newport News this Saturday? Will it be the build? Will it be the uh, the Thoroughbreds or the Centurions? Second half gets started right now. Clock had not started. Referees were keeping it on the floor. It should be 1955. It should be 25 seconds on the shot clock. Special guest at our scores table, Mr. Victor Nong, is helping out tonight. He is here in attendance supporting his team, although he is injured. Good to see Victor in good spirits despite his injury. And a whistle. What is happening? Got some dysfunction going on across the court. So 13 on the shot clock, that layup will not count. Still 43-32. 10 on the shot clock. Hampton passes it to Gibbs. Gibbs is stuck. Four on the shot clock, here's Hampton. That three no good. Foul on Murdoch. So it's 30 seconds into the second half here. Thoroughbred still up by 11. Benton against Fabian. Crossing him over. And Benton was fouled. Yeah, Eli Fabian commits his third foul. Thoroughbreds will inbound with 18 on the shot clock. Ben rises, fires, no good for three. Murdoch with the rebound. Here comes Fabian. Barrientos gets position and plays nice defense, forces a tough shot. There's a three from the corner by Eli Gibbs. Those are the first points of the second half. Bryant. Fouled by Fabian. Check that, Gibbs. They're going to give it to Baldwin. And now a technical foul has been called. Fabian was called for a technical, and in college basketball, those count as personal fouls. 
So Sam Benton at the line. To shoot two, he misses the first. Makes the second. Thoroughbreds lead is nine, and they have the ball. Now Brian at the line for two, trying to extend this lead to double digits once again. If you're Carolina Christian, you have to keep your composure. All technical fouls do is give Thoroughbreds three chances to increase their lead. Bryant sinks both free throws. Thoroughbreds lead up to 11. Gibbs with nowhere to go had to pass it back to Murdoch. Excuse me, to Baldwin. Here's Groggins outside. Looking for somewhere to go with the basketball, but he's cut off as well. 13 on the shot clock for Murdoch. Murdoch scoop no good, but put back home by Brandon Hampton. Keyshawn Bryant, long two, no good, but Malik Nong hustling with the rebound. Third Reds moving the ball well. Malik Nong for three, air ball. Now here comes Hampton to the basket, fouled by Malik Nong and gets the bike, gets the bucket. So that's the three on Malik Nong. It's gonna send Brandon Hampton to the line from Greensboro, North Carolina. Thoroughbred still up by three possessions. Benton to the basket, no good. Groggins with the rebound. There's a three from the corner by Gibbs. And this lead has been cut to four and timeout by Nolan Adams. 17.43 to go here in this contest. Thoroughbreds by four. We'll be back on Thoroughbred Sports Network. Spicy buns, spicy sauce, spicy seasoning, spicy jalapenos, ooh, spicy fries. Boy, Arby's getting loose with the spice on the new Diablo sandwiches and fries. Arby's, we have the meat. Here's to the game day ritual. Here's to every spin, tap, wipe, and clap. No matter what you do, Academy Sports and Outdoors has the low prices and best brands to make it happen. Now let's have a word about Blue Lights College. Blue Lights is North Carolina's premier police preparatory college. Our mission is to groom and train a new generation of police officers to com com approach com conflict with compassion and respect. Using the three foundational pillars of faith, purpose, and trust, Blue Lights College wants to build an unbreakable bond between law enforcement and the communities they serve. Please visit bluelightscollege.org to learn more. And as always, donations are welcome. So out of the timeout, Thoroughbreds will have possession. Their 11-point lead has been cut to four. 7-0 run by the Centurions. Yak gets it across the timeline. Malik Nong, corner three. Too strong. Rebound to Hampton. Centurions with a chance to bring this to one possession. Gibbs is wide open again. Thoroughbreds avoid that dagger this time. Keyshawn Bryant, three ball, no good, a little too flat. Here come the Centurions, pushing the pace. Hampton for three. Lead has been cut to one. Thoroughbreds have to battle through this adversity. 
still hold the lead, but nowhere near as commanding as it was just two minutes ago. Wolyak spinning. No good. Gets his own rebound, taps it back home. There's a steal. Nice outlet pass to Wolyak, but it was cut off and stolen. Good idea. And that layup converted by Murdoch. Back to a one-point game. Lots of noise in here for the Centurions tonight. Yak to the basket, no good. Keyshawn Bryant, contact, no call. Rebound to the Centurions, and they have a chance to take the lead. Hampton pushing. That block by Malik Nall. 16.09 to go here in this game. It's a one-point game. 19 on the shot clock. And A.J. Ball will inbound for the thoroughbreds, but it's stolen. Here comes Victor, here comes uh, Boyle Yak. But he has it stolen for him as he tries to do a spin move. That layup is no good, but Groggins follows, and the Centurions have taken the lead. And one of the Centurions is down. Being checked on by their team physician. Can't see who it is. We won't show who that player is out of respect for them and their family. But a brief timeout has been called here to attend to the injured Centurion. A couple of his teammates are over there checking on him. But it's been a barrage here in the second half so far. 17-5 run by the Centurions to start the second half. Have found themselves in the lead by one. 15-55 to go with this game. Now Coach William P.A. is going over to check on the injured player. Again, have not seen who it was. And hopefully... He will be all right. So once again, let's reset for you. The winner of tonight's game will travel to Newport News, Virginia this Saturday to play top-seeded apprentice led by Sean Ely, the conference MVP. And their head coach, the coach of the year, Evan Key. That game will take place at 4 p.m. this Saturday from the Apprentice Athletic Center. It will be on the Apprentice Athletics stream. So if you just Google search or do a search on YouTube for Apprentice Builders, you should be able to find that stream. The second semifinal will take place between number two seed, Mac U, and the winner of Virginia Peninsula and Christendom. That game will be on Thursday night. Also on the Apprentice channel. On the women's side of things, the NSAC women's basketball tournament is down to three teams. Apprentice, Christendom, and the top seed, Carolina Christian Centurions. Apprentice versus Christendom, this Saturday, 2 p.m., on the Apprentice Builders Channel. The winner will play Carolina Christian for the Women's Championship this Sunday at 2 p.m. on BigSports.TV. Now, both the Thoroughbreds team doctor and the Centurions team doctor are taking a look at the injured player. So what we'll do is we'll take a time out here. Come back in just a moment. This is the Thoroughbreds 
Sports Network. Here's to the game day ritual. Here's to every spin, tap, wipe, and clap. No matter what you do, Academy Sports and Outdoors has the low prices and best brands to make it happen. Why do I invest so much in this place? Why do I look for answers where there might be none? Why am I inspired to educate the next brilliant minds in healthcare? Yeah, so that's a great question. At Duke Health, patients experience the unifying power of all of us. Because what we do every day is important. 15.50 to go. Injured player was A.J. Baldwin. Hopefully he will be all right. Went down and was helped off the court by a couple of his teammates. If we have any updates on A.J., we'll send them across while the game goes on. Meanwhile, Thoroughbreds retake the lead, and then a turnover by the Centurions gives the ball back to BLC. So Thoroughbreds coming back across with Benton. Rises, fires, rolls in and out. Unlucky. So Jim went kind of quiet when A.J. Baldwin went down. Understandably so. One of their best players. One of their core guys. Nice block by Malik Nong from behind. 15 on the shot clock. Baldwin seems to be walking it off there in the background. There's a three by Eli Gibbs. That's his third or fourth threes hit. That's going to put the Centurions back in front. Five minutes gone here in the second half. Bryant down low against Murdoch. Got it. This game is tied once again. Back and forth they go. Thoroughbreds had a 43-32 lead. Centurions have scored 20 points in the first five minutes. And a travel was called. Thoroughbreds will now have a chance to take the lead back. Then, against Murdoch. That floater is no good. Benton has not had his best offensive game tonight. There's a three once again left wide open to Skins. They haven't rotated to him yet. And that breaks the tie. Nice pass. Wojak wide open. Three for BLC, and we are level. Thoroughbreds have to find the open man. They're going to try to trap and, and steal the ball away from the ball carrier. There's Jordan for three. Excuse me, Hampton. Correction, that was Jordan. No good. Keyshawn Bryant pushing the pace. Soft floater puts the Thoroughbreds back in front. Thirteen twenty to go in this game. Murdoch carried the ball, but it wasn't called. Pass down low. Gibbs makes the layup. Level again at 57. Bryant one-on-one -on -one against Gibbs. Barrientos, wide open. Too strong. Rebound by the Thoroughbreds. Sam Benton, wide open. He can't make that one, but another offensive board. Foul from behind, and Keyshawn Bryant will go to the line for two. Foul is on Murdoch. So Keyshawn Bryant can put the Thoroughbreds back in the lead. Unsuccessful on the first try. Keyshawn Bryant also elected all team, all all NSAC second team. It's been hanging and banging down low all year for the Thoroughbreds. Has also been exhibiting an outside jump shot as of late. Bryant, one of two from the line. 
thoroughbreds back in front by a single point. Murdoch just walking the ball up. Whoa, Yak rejects it right back at him. And then a foul by Lee Brown. Swipe bent on the top of his head. Robert Murdoch commits his fourth foul. He's on thin ice. Coach P.A. may want to consider sitting him down to observe him for the rest of this game. He's an all-conference player for a reason. Keyshawn Bryant working and converting that bucket. Thoroughbreds back up by three. Brown. Fouled, but not in the act of shooting. He was fouled on the floor. Only team foul, excuse me, only the second foul on Sam Bitt. And inbounding underneath the thoroughbred basket, but stolen by Sam Bent. Nice pass up to Barrientos. Leia, got it! Nice defense to offense by the thoroughbreds. Three by Brown is good. Benton thought that Brown pushed off. Was not called. Keyshawn Bryant against Eli Gibbs. Keyshawn Bryant to the basket. He got it. Just like the first half, both teams finding their stride. Now that ball stolen by Wong Yak. Here he comes. Yak attack. No good. Rebound Barrientos converts. Six-point lead for the Thoroughbreds. Here's Hampton. Lee Brown to the basket. Blocked by Malik Nong. Here come the Thoroughbreds. Nong. Stripped. It will be Thoroughbreds ball. 25 on the shot clock. Goggins will re-enter for Eli Gibbs. Gibbs has been a problem for the thoroughbreds tonight. He has made some big, big buckets. Here's Bryant. Down low against Murdoch, trying to force that fifth foul. Not this time. Murdoch gets the rebound. Kyrie Groggins driving, scooping. No good. Thoroughbreds with numbers. Woyak rises, fires from the free throw line. Too good. No good. Murdoch makes that layup. And a timeout called by William P.A. Pardon. Nolan Adams called the timeout. So we'll keep it right here. 10.51 to go in this game. Thoroughbreds 66, Centurions 62. Fans, follow the Thoroughbreds on your mobile device. Keep up with the latest news and content on our website, bluelightsthoroughbreds.com. You can follow the team on social media at BLC Basketball on Twitter, facebook.com forward slash BLC and B-Ball, or Instagram at Blue Lights Men's Basketball. Keys to the Thoroughbreds' victory tonight for the rest of this game. They're going to have to protect the basketball, stay out of foul trouble, make their free throws when they get them. Centurions are playing aggressive defensively, trying to anticipate outlet passes and stepping in front of them. So the Thoroughbreds have to keep their eyes up, make sure there's no black jerseys in the way of their passing lanes. Malik Nong will sit. Janad Hill will enter the game for the Thoroughbreds. So, BLC has Benton, Hill, Yak, Barrientos, and Keyshawn Bryant with the basketball. Bryant rises, fires. That shot is no good. 
perhaps a better shot was out there, but he was wide open. Now, Malik, excuse me, uh, Kyrie Goggins misses that, contested by Bryant. But Brown gets the offensive board for CCC. Hampton. To Cam Hampton. Brandon Hampton, no good. Cam Hampton challenging for the rebound, but Keyshawn Bryant gets it, and there's Hampton once again harassing. That ball was deflected and stolen. Here comes Scroggins. Scroggins, layup no good. Use it out of bounds on. It will belong to Central Car uh, Carolina Christian. Scroggins hit the deck. Luckily, he is okay. So, Brandon Hampton with the ball against Barrientos. Now, Brown against Hill. Brown was fouled and is shaken up. Brown back to his feet. Looks like just getting his shoe replaced. It's been a rough game so far. Very physical, up and down the floor. Fast paced basketball action. No one is playing really reserved whatsoever. So Brown will go to the line for two. Lee Brown from Biloxi, Mississippi. First free throw is good for the freshman guard. Appears to be okay after hitting the deck, holding a lower extremity. So it's a two-point game once again. Thoroughbreds have to get a basket here. Benton down low to, Bear, uh, to Keyshawn Bryant. Gets those two points right back. Third Reds back up by two possessions. Brandon Hampton. Hampton, no good. Offensive board by Murdoch. He's going to take a wide open three. Too strong, but knocked out of bounds by Cam Hampton. It will belong to the Third Reds. Under 10 minutes to go in this game. Benton, all the way to the basket. He was fouled. Foul's going to go against Brandon Hampton. So Sam Benton will go to the line with a chance to increase the thoroughbred lead. bounce for our point guard Sam Benton Jr. Jordan Michael Jordan re-enters the game for Lee Brown. So third red's lead is six. 9.20 to go in this game. Here's Kyrie Goggins. Roggins against Keyshawn Bryant. Roggins has some size on a lot of these guys out here. Offensive board gathered. Cam Hampton fouled hard, hit the floor hard. Appears to be okay. So Barrientos will foul Cam Hampton. It's his third foul. He will go to the line for two. Gibbs is back in the game for the Centurions.
So one of two from the line for Cameron Hampton. Keyshawn Bryant out there playing point forward. Stops, pops, no good. But Malik Nong with the rebound. And he was... He committed a foul. Malik Nong has to be careful. That's four fouls on him. He pushed off getting the rebound. Berrienos tried to get the steal. The ball was kicked and out of bounds to the Centurions. Got to admire the hustle by Berrientos there, diving to the floor, trying to steal a possession from the Thoroughbreds there. Twenty-six on the shot clock for Carolina Christian. Cam Hampton now to Gibbs. Murdoch with four fouls. There's a three by Jordan. No good. Cam Hampton puts it back. And a timeout has been called by Carolina Christian. It's a three-point lead. Going to take the timeout with them. We'll be back after this. 70-67 Thoroughbreds on Thoroughbred Sports Network. Be like shoes, sunset on the beach. Pick me on a pull up on Miami with the heat. I don't know about you, but I know about me. Summertime in Florida catch me sliding on the key, yeah. I be like shoes. It's not a pizza, it's a milk. And for $6.99, it's just for you. Why do I invest so much in this place? Why do I look for answers where there might be none? Why am I inspired to educate the next brilliant minds in healthcare? Yeah, so that's a great question. At Duke Health, patients experience the unifying power of all of us. Seventy sixty-seven thoroughbred, Sam Benton with the ball for BLC. Got stripped on his way up, but recovered. Benton rises, fires, contact, no call. And what's the call? So Benton committed a foul. Not sure how he did that. I think he was knocked to the floor. It was a technical foul called. Complaining about the contact. He was contacted, but there was no call. And Gibbs misses the first free throw. Carolina Christian, not exactly a great free throw shooting team. They do average 78 points per game in NSAC play. Thoroughbreds average 83. Both teams are on pace to hit those numbers. Murdoch gets the soft touch. So Carolina Christian back within one. Ben to the basket. Foul. So Ben to the line after the foul by Gibbs. Rolls in and out for Sam Ben. Every free throw here in this game is as important as it can be. A lot on the line tonight. It is win or go home. Every person on the floor understands that. They're playing like it. There's a steal. Keyshawn Bryant finds the basketball. Oh, yeah. Lays it home. Defense to offense for BLC. Gives the Thoroughbreds a four-point lead. Malik Nong has four fouls and has to be careful. Playing defense against Hampton. Gibbs with a long three. No good. Wol Yak with the board. Yak, soft touch. No good. Gets his own board. Benton, floater. Off the glass and got it.
Murdoch to the basket. Goal tending and the basket will count. Throw up Reds went up to block it, but they touched it just a smidgen too late. Benton, one on four, no good. He had a good look there, just didn't fall. 6.38 to go in this game. Throw up Reds by four. Murdoch also has four fouls. No good. Hits the deck again, looking for a call. Ref's not going to give it to him. Yak, that pass stolen. Murdoch up all alone. And gets that layup to go. Brings the Centurions within two. Twenty to go with the shot clock. Keyshawn Bryant wanted it down low. He had one on one against Cam Hampton. Very Entos. Ten on the shot clock for Pitt. Down low to Keyshawn Bryant. One-on-one -on -one against Hampton. Puts it up. No good. Rolled in and out. Centurions have a chance to level the game again. Or take the lead with a three. Under six minutes to go in this game. Murdoch. Had to pick up his dribble. Three ball from the corner. No good. Malik Nong with another rebound. And stepped out of bounds. Harassed, did not get the foul call, and turns it over in a, disad in a disadvantageous position. And there's Brandon Hampton tying the game at 75. Both teams making the other pay whenever they turn it over. Malik Nong, then decided not to take the three. Then want to drive. Floater. It's money. If Benton can get heating up here, Centurions may be in trouble. There's a steal by Benton. You gotta watch your back, Sam. Foul from behind. So they'll say that foul was on the floor, not in the act of shooting. Check that it was in the act of shooting. And Benton makes the first free throw. Under five minutes to go in this game. It's as tight as tight can be. Keyshawn Bryant taking a seat to get some electrolytes get a little uh, fluids in his body, maybe cramping up there. Second free throw is no good by Sam Benton, rolls in and out. Janad Hill's in the game. Groggins against Sam Benton. Now Cam Hampton, scoop to the basket, it's good. It's a one point game. And uh, Char a blocking foul call on Cam Hampton. All the Centurions fans who made the trip from Winston-Salem thought that it was going to be an offensive foul call, but he did not establish position. was on Cam Hampton. One and one for the third Reds and Bolyak gets the first. I'm shooting free throws from here on out. It was the seventh team foul on Carolina Christian. trying to get things sorted out at the score state. Walt makes two of two, gives the Thoroughbreds a three-point lead. Just over four minutes to go in this game. Roggins. 
Here's Jordan. Jordan against Hampton. Gets a screen from Gibbs. Jordan converts and is fouled. So just like that, Centurions have a chance to tie this game at the line. Big ones, Mariotto said he has hands up. He's standing straight, put his hands up. Reps weren't buying it, unfortunately. Jordan can't tie the game. Thoroughbreds now have a chance to increase their lead. Oh, yeah. Corner three. Got it. And he's fouled. Bucket, bruises, and tres puntos. For Wol Yak. So it looks like a technical foul was called. The three will count. A technical was called. And Eli Fabian will shoot that for the Centurions. And that technical free throw will keep this a three-point game. It's going to be Centurion's ball. So Wolyak hit the three. There was contact, knocked down. There was no call. Referees are being very strict today. They don't want any more complaining. They want this game to be played and won on the floor. There's a long three that's no good. It's going to go out of bounds to BLC. Robert Murdoch is back in the game. He has four fouls. If you're the third bench, you might want to find who he's guarding and attack him. Barrientos bringing it up. Benton back in the game for the third bench, as is Malik Nong and Keyshawn Bryant. Benton, floater, no good. Malik Nong challenging. Hampton pushing the pace. Correction, Jordan. Jordan can't get that layup to fall. Rebound, Wolyak. Benton all alone, lays it home. Nobody from the Centurions found him, and that was the easiest two points of the night for Sam Benton. That ball poked away, but stayed with CCC. Fabian was fouled on the floor. So we're under three minutes to go in this game. Throw up Reds by five. One and one. So a one and one at the line here for Eli Fabian. One of the new players added by William P.A. After the Centurions return from the holiday break. First of the one and one is good. That will bring the Centurions back within four. This game is a three-point game once again. Yak against the Groggins. Well, they had to pick up his dribble. Yak gets a screen from Barrientos. Barrientos, three ball. Too short. Fabian lays it home. It's a one-point game. Two and a half to go. Thoroughbreds have to find their best shot. Wolyak against Groggins. Rises, fires, three, no good. Offensive rebound. Thoroughbreds finding the open man. Barrientos with a lay in. 2-10 to go. Thoroughbreds up by three. Barrientos with a steal. And out of bounds. It's going to belong to BLC. What hustle by the sharpshooter. He's all over the place. Timeout, BLC. Full timeout. We'll take the timeout with him. 2.03 to go. It's a three-point game. 87-84 thoroughbreds. 
This is the Blue Lights College Thoroughbred Sports Network. Spicy buns, spicy sauce, spicy seasoning, spicy jalapenos, ooh, spicy fries. Boy, Arby's getting loose with the spice on the new Diablo sandwiches and fries. Arby's, we have the meat. Here's to the game day ritual. Here's to every spin, tap, wipe, and clap. No matter what you do, Academy Sports and Outdoors has the low prices and best brands to make it happen. Come to CC, step right this way to my incredible all you can gobble buffet. A wondrous world of extraordinary creations like mac and cheese pizza and a cinnamon roll station. Oh. Pasta and salad dessert. Oh my lordy. Games for the kiddos oh. and dudes in their 40s. There's plenty to go around. No need for sharing. Everyone's happy, even this Karen. What will we do next? You can bet it's stupendous. Bring your stretchy pants to CC's where the pizza abilities are endless. 87 84 thoroughbreds. 203 to go in this game. BLC has the ball. Underneath the Centurion basket. And that ball was stolen. Here comes Fabian. Fabian's layup contested and no good. Keyshawn Bryant comes back for the thoroughbreds. Under two minutes to go. Bryant, scoop to the basket, no good. He was fouled. And Bryant shaking up, but appears to be okay. So Gibbs fouls Keyshawn Bryant in the act of shooting. Either way, it would be they're in the double bonus. double bonus. So Bryant to the line for two with 150 to go. Don't have to tell you how important these free throws are in a three-point game in a must-will, must-win scenario. Another technical foul has been called. So Bull Yak in the line for the technical free throw. Perfect. Centurions losing their composure. Yak misses the second. Still two free throws coming for Keyshawn Bryant. So Fabian was called for the technical foul. That was his fifth and he has been disqualified. First free throw was good by Keyshawn Bryant. It's a five-point lead for the Thoroughbreds. Perfect. Clutch free throws by Keyshawn Bryant. It's a six-point Thoroughbred lead with 1.45 to go. Centurions in deep trouble. Murdoch shaking, bacon and bacon. Nice move by Robert Murdoch. And timeout by Carolina Christian. 137 to go in this game. Thoroughbreds 90-86. This is right at the average for Carolina Christian to surrender in NSAC play. They average giving up 89.7 points per game. And they've surrendered 100 points five times this season. As a matter of fact, the last win for Carolina Christian was December 4th at Greensboro Prep, a game they won 104 to 101. They've won three games on the season, and two of them were against Greensboro Prep. Their last visit here was November 22nd. That was a 111 102 thoroughbred victory. going to be Thoroughbred's ball underneath their basket. Benton gets the ball inbounds. 
Centurions pressing. Shot clock did not start. Had some technical issues, timing issues. We apologize for all of that this evening. Broadcast started a little earlier than expected, so we our uh, video package was interrupted. We had to make sure that we got the all-conference ceremony live on the broadcast for everyone to see. There's been some technical issues with the shot clocks, with the game clock. And we apologize for any convenience. All right, so thoroughbreds ball, we're all set for action. Ball inbounded to Moyak. They're going to keep the shot clock on one side of the floor now. Yak gets across the timeline. 1.20 to go in this game. Bryant against Gibbs. Bryant, fade away. He got it. Six point game. 1.10 to go. Burdock finds Jordan. Three balls, good. It's a one point, it's a one possession game. One minute to go. Yak gets across the timeline. Trying to find an open man. There's Ben. He's gonna back it out. 15 on the shot clock. Yak against Hampton. Nice pass down low to Malik. No, I'm gonna convert that layup. 44 seconds left. Thoroughbreds by five. Roggins to the basket. Answers. Timeout, Carolina Christian with 38.3 to go. Who wants this game more? Perhaps we will find out that answer in the final 38.3. Again, let's reset what's at stake. The winner of tonight's game travels to Newport News this Saturday to take on top-seeded, nationally-ranked Apprentice. Live, 4 p.m. on the Builders stream on YouTube. That will be the NSAC semifinals. The loser is done. Their season is over. Neither team qualifies for other postseason play outside of the New South Athletic Conference Tournament. So this is everything to them. It will be Thoroughbred's ball with 38.3 to go and a three-point lead. No one guarding the inbounds pass. Centurions have five men guarding four trying to get the inbounds. Here comes Ben. Trying to get across the timeline. He does. Hands off to Barrientos. 30 seconds to go. Thoroughbreds can run this clock down. 20 on the game clock. 15 on the shot clock. Benton. Spin move. 10 on the shot clock. Malik Nong. And Nong is foul. Michael Jordan can miss the foul. Malik Nong will go to the line for two. With 14.3 to go. First one is good by Malik Nong. It's now a two possession game. Groggins back in. Gibbs back in. Huge free throw by Malik Nong. The biggest free throw he's had all season. Two for two Malik Nong. It's a five point game with 14 seconds left. There's no five point shots. Centurions have to hurry up. That pass not handled by Groggins. Three by Gibbs from the corner is good with six seconds to go.
So the Thoroughbreds have to get this ball in bounds. Centurions, Centurions will have to foul. Timeout by William P.A. 6.2 to go. Both teams huddling. What a contest this has been. Thoroughbreds had an 11-point lead to start the second half. Centurions walked it down, took the lead, and it's been tight ever since. The key to this game has been the Centurions not keeping their composure. Several technical fouls have been called on them, allowing the Thoroughbreds to take a lead and maintain a lead. But on the Thoroughbred side of things, they cannot turn the basketball over here. They must get it in bounds. The Centurions have to foul. So you have to get the ball in bounds if you Keyshawn Bryant and find a Thoroughbred. Wojak being held. There it is inbound to Sam Benton with five on the, on the game clock. Fouled by Murdoch. These two free throws can ice this game if Benton can make them both. First one is good for Sam Benton. This one is the biggie right here. Two for two, Sam Benton. It's a four point game with 3.9 to go. Murdoch inbounds with three, two, Gibbs for three. No good. And that is that. And we got a winner in Apex. This one belongs to the Thoroughbreds. Final score from Hope Community Church Arena. Blue Lights College 98. Central Carolina Christian 94. And what that means is that this Saturday, the rematch of the rematch will take place. Can the Builders do it three times? Can they defeat the Thoroughbreds for a third time this season? Or will it be bad news for the home side Builders as the Thoroughbreds ran their race, used faith, purpose, and trust, and came away with a huge, huge victory? They strive, survive, and advance, and the Centurion season is over. Once again, final score from Hope Community Church Arena. Blue Lights College 98, uh, Carolina Christian College 94. We'll be back to wrap things up. After this, this is the Blue Lights College Thoroughbreds Sports Network. Welcome to CC. Step right this way to my incredible all you can gobble buffet. A wondrous world of extraordinary creations like mac and cheese pizza and a cinnamon roll station. Oh. Pasta and salad dessert. Oh my lordy. Games for the kiddos and dudes in their 40s. There's plenty to go around. No need for sharing. Everyone's happy, even this Karen. What will we do next? You can bet it's stupendous. Bring your stretchy pants to CC so the pizza abilities are endless. Here's to the game day ritual. Here's to every spin, tap, wipe, and clap. No matter what you do, Academy Sports and Outdoors has the low prices and best brands to make it happen. Spicy buns, spicy sauce, spicy seasoning, spicy jalapenos, ooh, spicy fries. Boy, Arby's getting loose with the spice on the new Diablo sandwiches and fries. Arby's, we have the meat. Welcome back to Hope Community Church Arena. 98-94, this one belongs to the Thoroughbreds. What a contest. Both teams gave it their all tonight, but in the end, the Thoroughbreds 
stood tall. Six men tonight. Missing Victor Nong with an injury. Missing Randy Freeman. And the Thoroughbreds with six men get it done tonight. The biggest win of the season for head coach Nolan Adams. I understand that Evan Key went undefeated and deserves to be coach of the year, but how can you not consider Blue Lights College Nolan Adams, the job he has done with this team. He put this team together in August, ladies and gentlemen, in August. These players did not know each other. But instead, this team came together and have had an excellent season. Their ninth win on the year. Their third conference win. Defeated Carolina Christian for a second time in a tight, tight ball game. So we're going to wrap things up. And we'll end it right here like this. I invite you to tune in this Saturday, February 25th, as the Thoroughbreds' quest for the New South Conference Championship continues in the semifinal round against Top Seed Apprentice. Can the Builders defeat the Thoroughbreds for a third time? Or will BLC bring bad news to the Apprentice Athletic Center? Tip-off is set for 4 p.m. on the Apprentice Athletics Sports Network on YouTube. If the Thoroughbreds win that game, they will play for the conference championship on Sunday afternoon at 4 p.m. That game will take place on BigSports.TV. And here is the schedule for the remainder of the NSAC men's and women's tournaments. All games... Well, the Saturday games will be on the Builders Channel. Sunday games on BigSports.TV. Saturday, 2 p.m., women's semifinal. Apprentice versus Christendom. The winner plays Carolina Christian on Sunday. 4 p.m., men's semifinal. Top seed Apprentice versus our Blue Lights Thoroughbreds. 6 p.m., men's semifinal. Second seed, Matthew versus the winner of Christendom versus Virginia Peninsula. That game takes place on Thursday night. Sunday, 2 p.m., Big Sports TV, the women's NSAC championship game. Carolina Christian versus the winner of Apprentice versus Christendom. 4 p.m., the men's championship game. That will be the winner of BLC and Apprentice versus either Christendom, Matthew, or VPCC. And also, while we're at it, I am honored to announce that I will be on the call for Sunday's championship games live on BigSports.TV with Howard McRae of the Builder Sports Network. Special thanks to Jay Bell from Big Sports and our Commissioner Mike Davis for the opportunity. And I hope you will join us live from the Apprentice Athletic Center as we crown our conference champions for 2023. Tonight is our last Thoroughbred Sports Network broadcast of the season. And I speak for everyone here at Blue Lights College when I say thank you, thank all of you for being a part of it. It means a lot to us, and we appreciate your time and patience this season, and we will be back in it better than ever next year. And we look forward to you joining us. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you all. Special thanks to Captain Jacques Gilbert, Mr. Roderick Warren, NSAC Commissioner Mike Davis, and the entire staff at Hope Community Church in Apex. For the last time this season, and for our Italian crew and from me to you, this is Craig Green saying thanks for tuning in to Blue Lights College Basketball on the Thoroughbred Sports Network. Sayonara. And Buenos Noches.
This is the 2023 New South Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Tournament on the Thoroughbred Sports Network. Thoroughbreds Basketball is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors, the official sporting goods retailer of the Thoroughbreds. The Blackwell Group of Keller Williams Elite Realty. Apex Baptist Church. CC's Pizza, the official pregame meal of the Thoroughbreds. Rogers Insurance Agency, protecting your future. Pizza Hut, no one out pizzas the hut. Two Dog Digital, your company's best friend for IT services. Duke Sports Medicine, the official healthcare provider of the Thoroughbreds. United Church. Arby's, we've got the meats. Pierce Group Benefits, superior benefits, personal service. Hope Community Church, Apex. And CrossFit Contrivance, the official CrossFit gym of the Thoroughbreds.